Hi, grade fives. I hope you are all well. Hopefully I see you soon. Okay, today I'm going to explain to you what to do for the 4th of June in s and And our topic is traditional processing. Okay, so let's quickly start with the starter. Starter, try to explain the meaning of process. Okay, so you have to answer verbally so you don't have to write it down. Think a little bit. What do you think is the meaning of process? Do you know? Okay, so let's quickly look. Process. Change in different ways to get new materials or products with new properties. So... Change in different ways to get new materials or products with new properties. And if you can remember, we've done this, the process. You get your materials, you do a process, and you get a product. So the process, like uh, mixing and setting, uh, mixing and cooling, all of those are processes. Okay, so can you remember what process is? Awesome. Okay, so let's quickly read it a little bit. In Africa, people have processed clay for hundreds of years to make bricks and pots. So they've been for years and years, um, people used processes to make certain things. But in Africa, we use clay um, to make bricks and pots. So from a long time ago, they used this process. Okay, then African people also make baskets, hats, mats, thatched roofs from plant fibers such as grasses and reeds. Okay, so they may they take grass and they make thatched roofs or they make mats and hats and baskets. Okay, so now we're going to look at four new keywords and this you have to copy in your book to study later. Okay, so our first keyword is coil, to roll up a material into a spiral shape, weave, crossing strips or threads under and over each other, stitch using a thread to join two materials together and plait to twist three strands over and under each other to form a thicker strand or strand. Okay, then you have to go and read page 104 up to 107. Well, that sounds a lot, but it's really not. Okay, and then you also have to look at figures 22 and 27. It's going to help you with the activity that follows. So let's quickly look. Here we have page 104. So quickly read a little bit about bricks. And then we have a case study processing clay to make clay pots. Okay, and there we have the rest of the story. We can look at figure, okay, but we can look so long at figure 19, figure 20, figure 21. Okay, those ones you don't really have to look at, but it's always nice to look at the pictures to learn something. Okay, then we go to page 106. Read a little bit about traditional processing to make baskets, hats, mats, and thatched roofs. Okay, here is figure 23. The cause are in Darvel as a thatched roof. So there's an example of a thatched roof. Okay, and then here we have various baskets. This one is woven, woven, grass mats. They are stitched together. Here we have woven mat, so it's under, over, under, over. Here we have a married Zulu woman wearing a traditional finely woven grass hat. The grass has been dyed, so it's woven again. A Basutu chief wearing a woven traditional Basutu hat made from grass. Okay, and then here we have examples, figure 25, how to weave. So it's under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And you do it over and over and over again. Okay, so that is weaving. Here we have the process of plating. Okay, we do sometimes plate our hair. Huh? So this is an example of plating. 
and then here we have how they made a basket and the bottom is made by coiling the spiral is a coil okay and they also used plating and weaving to make this basket okay so that's all the reading that you have to do and figures that you have to look at so it's not that much okay let's go to the activity okay the instructions are down here um, match the traditional process with the correct picture and you only have to write the number and the letter so number one is coil weave stitch plate okay now we're going to look at the pictures here we have an example which one do you think it is is it coiling is it weaving is it stitching is it plating and you're going to do it the same a you look at it b what example is this c what example and there so coiling which picture is an example of coiling weave which one is an example of weave stitch which picture is an example of stitch and for plate which one is an example of plate then we have a nice plenary and that's up to you if you want to do it try weaving at home you can use pieces of paper wool or fabrics and i have nice pictures to show you how you can do it here is an example of weaving with paper you have to cut strips and then over under over under over under you can use nice colorful paper or you can use newspaper or just plain paper you can color it yourself depending on what you've got and then we here we have a wool weaving some strips of wool over a piece of um, cotton and then you weave the wool over under over under over under so that's something fun for you to do. And then you do a little bit of traditional processing. Okay, so that is basically what we have to do. It's not a lot of work and I hope you enjoy it. Hopefully I see you soon. Ta-ta!